So in this video I wanted to talk about this 3D printable lamp that I designed. Uh, first I want to show uh, how it works and how it looks and uh, after that uh, go through how to assemble it and print it yourself. Uh, so let's start off. When you look at the models that are available online, oftentimes they are more like toys or trinkets. So you print them, it's, uh, it's fun for a couple of minutes after that, and then you just leave them or toss them out after a while. So with this lamp I wanted to use all of my design skills to create something that is uh, beautiful and useful. Here we have all of the 3D printable parts. It's actually not very many. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six parts. And uh, yeah, these are very small, so these will be 3D printable in no time at all. First off, let's take a look at the base here. The base consists of three parts. And if we start by looking at the main part, you'll see that all of the angles are over 45 degrees, which uh, means that there's no supports needed here. Uh, and also on the inside here, we have an angle, so no supports there either. And even the holes themselves, they have a slight teardrop shape, which makes it possible to print them without having supports uh, ruining the threads. Now, if we take a look at these parts, there's actually more to it than uh, first meets the eye. So, as you know, 3D printing, it's plastic, so uh, things are quite light. But when you buy something, you really want a heavy, uh, solid feeling to the product. And I, I don't want to make people 3D print a solid block of plastic. Uh, which would be very time consuming and wasteful. So what I have done instead is to design this sand bowl, I call it. So you have this hollow compartment that is closable with this lid. And my idea is to fill it with sand or gravel to give that extra weight to the product. And uh, for that purpose, I have a nice jar of Barcelona sand here. And uh, let's use that to fill, uh, fill up this compartment. So you should have the sand come up to the level where these uh, platforms here are just barely above the sand's surface. Once you have the sand there, you can take the lid, put it on like this. This wheel will seal up the, the hollow enclosure here. And then you just insert it into the bottom of the base like this and use the cutouts, these holes here, to screw it with your fingers, like that. And like I said, this is uh, designed for 3D printing, so the threads, they are quite loose and uh, fit very easily. And also the threads themselves, they have no overhangs, so everything is just perfect to print without using supports. You can see that once you have tightened this, no sand will be able to fall out, not, uh, <laughs> not one grain of sand. And uh, now let's uh, add the lampshade. Here is the lampshade, and on the back of it you will find this venting port. And uh, that is also the place where you attach the only component that is not 3D printed, which is of course the light bulb socket right here. And uh, it's a standard component, it's an E27 socket, and uh, in my case I went with this very nice uh, nylon cord, but you can also um, choose a simpler socket as uh, this one for example, with a purely uh, plastic cord. Uh, when you order from our website, we'll send you a couple of links to different places where you can buy these uh, so that you have something that is uh, sure to fit. Now to attach the light bulb socket to the lampshade, you just insert it into the back like this. Right. And then from the front, you take the other piece of the uh, light bulb socket and you screw it onto here. And you tighten it a bit like this. And there you have it. And uh, of course, we need to add a light bulb as well. And here, it's really, really, really important that you use a LED bulb. Because if you use a high wattage uh, regular bulb, there's a big risk that the plastic will melt and it will cause a fire and no one will be happy at all. So please use LEDs, okay? Uh, so let's insert this one. Then the next step is to take the small screw that we have, this one, and to insert it on the inside into the hole. So there's a hole here on the right, we see right there, 
and I'm gonna insert it into place. And like I said, this is made for 3D printing, so uh, the thread really goes in very smoothly and nicely without me having to do anything special about that. Uh, now, as you probably have guessed, the next step is to insert the large screw, this one, uh, from the outside here. And uh, this is the screw that we use when we want the lamp to stay fixated in, at a certain angle. So we can angle the lamp a little bit and then tighten the screw to make it stay like that. There we have it. The lamp is completely assembled and uh, yeah, let's turn it on and see how it looks. So here we have the front. Here's the adjuster with venting on the back and uh, a very nice and heavy base here and then on the other side we see that uh, the hole is completely covered from the outside so uh, here it's completely smooth now if you would like to make this lamp yourself uh, please take a look at our website where all of the files are available for order and uh, apart from the STL files you'll also get links to where you can buy this uh, light bulb socket here I really hope you like the design of this lamp and uh, if you decide to make it yourself please do send pictures because I would love to see uh, the different color choices people come up with and uh, yeah just uh, to see the lamp out in the wild so to speak uh, so yes uh, thank you for watching and uh, talk to you next time bye